Hey everyone, Johnny Silver here. Well, I guess this makes Maple Leaf Review too. How did it go with SD Bullion? What's the condition of the new coin they sent? Well, I think you'll be surprised as this video goes on. But first, let's start out with at 2 silvers comment on the previous video. Bullion gold coins are a bulk product that do not have numismatic value outside of extremely rare situations. They are not and should not be viewed or valued as products that are anything other than bulk weight products. Conditions within reason is completely irrelevant to this value. This coin is absolutely within a reasonable range of condition for a bullion product. And certainly that is a view to have on it. Uh, not necessarily one that I share myself. Mainly because... Uh, of the condition that it's sent in. Now, the envelope that you see here on the screen is the envelope that SD Bullion sent the new coin in. It's a replacement coin. Now, I paid to SD Bullion around $50, or I paid out $50 to the post office to send the other coin back insured to SD Bullion so that they would exchange it and send out this one. Now, the first coin they sent out in a similar packaging, in fact, similar insides, it's just fewer coins, this is a, just a little thin cardboard mailer that you get from FedEx. In fact, they come free. I'll show you that later. Um, and inside here, getting it opened up here, you'll see there's going to be a white bag. And uh, just like the first time when they sent it, except this bag's actually attached to the inside of the envelope. It hadn't come loose at all. So it's just, you know, the normal fluff that they put in with the packaging. There's the packing slip. There's the envelope try and get that thing out and I mean you got to really pull it out to get it out right there you go more packaging crap you don't need there's their return address I'll just go ahead and get this thing open these little bubble mailers here that cost them a, a, a very bit of money um, and again, you'll be able to deal with that later. Now, the way you see this bubble wrap up here, that's the way they sent it originally uh, with other coins and got beat all up in a FedEx truck. I had uh, paid to have them ship it here a little bit quicker. I wanted it sooner for the channel and all that, and I just wanted to have it in hands. And uh, I stayed all home at home one day, all day, waiting on FedEx. They never came. That cost me money. Uh, the next day, I had to wait again. That cost me money. So I wasn't really happy with it. Now, at first glance, this coin looks pretty good. This is certainly wrapped better than what it was the first time around. Uh, it's not loose in the packaging like it had been, so I was hopeful at this point. In the hand, it doesn't look terrible, but there are some really nasty uh, scuff spots on this thing and damage in the coin. Uh, that I'll be showing here later on. We'll just flip through and take a look here right quick. This is fresh out of the package. I do like the Golden Maple Leaf as a coin. It's a beautiful coin. Um, I don't necessarily like this coin or the last coin I got. You know, so I guess uh, in order to get a good coin, I have to take SD Bullion's advice. And that is, uh, if you want something nice, buy something numismatic or, or now what is it, uh, graded by whatever companies grade them. I don't really follow all that bullshit, but um, yeah, I just don't think that grading really means a whole lot. It means something to somebody, but if they don't, if they don't take off or uh, uh, the, the off strikes and the uh, thinning around the rims, then it, they're, anything else they've got to say really doesn't matter a whole lot. That's just my opinion where I'm at with it. So I really don't care about the graded stuff as it is, but the idea that in order to get a nice coin from them that you would have to pay extra to have it graded and oh my god just send something nice the first time and better yet just send it nicely packaged instead of packaged like this so I'm going to show you some uh, examples here coming up of uh, nicely packaged stuff and uh, this kind of nice so nicely packaged stuff right here all right so now comes a great comment from the cranky one great content Nice pickup. Unfortunate scuffing on the queen. SD wrote my complaint off too. I'm trying to avoid buying from them. New sub at Stack That Gold sent me. 
Stay cranky, my friend. All right. Well, the cranky one, I will stay cranky. And certainly uh, the condition of this coin uh, really doesn't have me any less cranky than what I was before. And I appreciate the new sub and shout out to STG. Stack that gold. I always appreciate your help, brother. It's a lot of fun to uh, deal with you offline and as we have. And then uh, et to silver replies, customer satisfaction with the condition is irrelevant. Well, that is probably true up to a point, at least to the point where the customer no longer buys, right? I think then it becomes pretty relative. But as we'll uh, come to find out here, you're, you're probably more correct than not. Um, and I do admire your honesty. You, you totally swim against the grain on this one uh, with other people in the comments. And like I told you before, I, I do appreciate that. It's good. So getting on to uh, why the boxing is important, we'll talk about some of the other ones. This is from Intaglio Mint. Some future rounds I'm going to review. You can see it's the real nice USPS box or real nice as far as compared to a, Fe a FedEx envelope, <laughs> you know. It's a fairly sturdy box. Uh, you see they've got it well taped. That uh, that striped tape there is pretty good packing tape. I don't usually use that kind of tape myself. I just, I don't know why. I probably should. I just really don't think about it. But inside, you know, you got a standard bubble bag in here. And then it's well packed on the inside, or at least packed enough. Uh, this thing isn't bouncing around a whole hell of a lot uh, inside that box. And I don't think the rounds are really getting loose inside that box either. In the same manner that it happened to me with the uh, uh, gold coin and the silver coins from SD Bullion. Busted rubber bands aren't real fun. I've looked over both of these coins, and uh, they're just fine. Uh, both reviews coming up. Geronimo will probably come before uh, the Mercury Dime. So now this is the box from Monument Metals. Uh, if you saw me unbox this, then this part of the video is going to be very familiar to you because it's the exact same video, just minus the uh, joke about Chairman Meow and uh, all the stuff before and everything really after the kind of opening. But it's your standard, you know, Monument Metals uh, packaging. It's got that nice outer brown box with a nice inner box. Both of, both of these boxes are very sturdy. In fact, uh, I ha I keep these boxes um, for shipping other things that I might come across and uh, uh, actually uh, stacking some of the metal up and stuff like that. It's uh, actually quite helpful. And in some of the staging uh, for filming, I actually uh, am using these boxes, uh, though you don't quite see them or, or recognize them at the time. Now, this particular one is from Bullion Exchange. And... Uh, I, this is pre-opened because I wanted to get into it, get the, make sure I could get my dress off. I didn't want anything to show. But as you pull it out, you see you get back here to the United States Postal Box. This is the small flat rate box. It's the same one that Intaglio Mint uses, or Intaglio Mint, I should say. Just found out that it's Intaglio, not Intaglio. But, you know, hey, white and uneducated, what can I say? So I guess I'll say Intaglio instead of Intaglio. <laughs> and uh, anyway... Uh, it's nicely packaged. Uh, it's got good tape all the way around. I think I showed there uh, somebody had actually uh, uh, cut the crease for the uh, corner there, mitered it in. It was very nicely taped. Uh, they took their time with this. And you're going to see as it's packed on the inside that it's wonderfully done as well. In fact, uh, if they were, I think the only one I may have seen packed better is Monument Metals at this point. But I'd have to say most everybody else has been pretty close to it. In fact, SD Bullion has in the past as well been close to it, but they really dropped the bomb, or the ball anyways, on these last two. So inside you got this, this bubble wrap envelope, right? Well, that's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's going to keep everything safe inside. You can see how much it was wrapped up inside that box. That was giving firm pressure all the way around, so the items inside aren't going to be able to move near as freely or as far and to a certain point st bullion had the same thing going on in the way they shipped out their product to begin with but it came loose in the envelope i think due to shipping and it got all them things screwed up on the inside so now that is a big 10 ounce bar ish well wait maybe that's the 10 ounce bar 
it's hard to say. The video that I'm looking at is a lot smaller than what you can see on screen right now. Yeah, that's the 10 ounce. And so here's the uh, here's that 10 ounce uh, gold maple in this package, along with uh, a one ounce uh, bar. It's a dragon. I thought this thing was actually coming sooner, but it, than what it was. I actually had to wait a lot longer to get this particular bar. I can't wait to actually uh, do a review on it. I just can't wait to get really into these reviews. I've had to rework how I shoot uh, my camera angles a bunch of times to really get settled on where I'm going to be at. And then, uh, yeah. Anyways. So we're getting back into the packaging now. See that one? I could, you know, maybe could have been a little bit better in there. But overall, all right. But check out this one. Yeah, it's like a package within a package. That plastic thing is pretty cool. So that looks like that'll protect that pretty well. But the, one of the reasons why the packaging is so important here and why we went through those videos is that all of these people can get the priority rate mailbox from USPS without any problems for free. Even the mailers, you can see it on the screen right there. And when we go to FedEx, we can see that it's indeed the same thing that you can get the no problem all right well so it's not a matter of cost here is what i'm driving at right all right well I, you know i fear maybe i could still be wrong about this kind of thing you know the only thing i could really do is kind of reach out uh, as best as anyone could anyways and see if i could get any help out and about and so what i decided to do was to contact uh, some of the different online dealers and say, hey, you know, I sent I sent them the pictures, the same pictures that I sent to SD Bullion and just said, hey, is, is this representative of essentially what I would expect for this round? In fact, um, let me uh, let me back up here a minute and I'm going to read you exactly what I, I sent to everybody. And I'll show you the pictures. I sent out, I decided to send out an email to some of the different uh, online dealers and see what they would say. I sent them the pictures uh, that I had sent to SD Bullion. Um, and I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm only going to tell you about the people who actually emailed back. Not all of the online dealers did. And I think that might be a security feature where oh, if you had some kind of attachment or something like that and they don't necessarily get to it or they don't see it or something, I'm just going to give them that kind of room on it, okay? Um, but one of the places I contacted, well, let me tell you what the email was first. Uh, hello, I've been wanting to buy a gold maple leaf, but my friend said they can come pretty messed up. Do they come in the condition shown in these pics, or do they come in better condition? Thanks in advance, Johnny. All right. So let me show you here what these two pictures look like. All right. So that should give you a pretty good idea there. That's what I sent to SD Bullion even. And so I'll just go ahead and tell you what uh, what the responses were. Um, I won't tell you who the people were at the company, uh, the companies that I spoke with, mainly because uh, I didn't ask them if I could, and I don't know what is uh, what is kind of protected or not protected, that kind of thing. So I will just tell you what the company said in general, and then um, go from there. I think that shall suffice. I mean, I've got the email, so you'll just have to deal with it. The first company I had contacted and uh, heard back from was Monument Metals. And Monument Metals said, uh, you know, Hey, Johnny, I hope your weekend is off to a nice start, which is very nice and very cordial people. Thank you for considering Monument Metals. I was able to take a few photos of gold maples in our vault and am including them below, which they're pretty good uh, pictures of, of those uh, two rounds. So I will go ahead and include them here for you to see uh, so that you can see what they sent to me in terms of pictures. Uh, you can see on the one here that there seems to be something going on with the neck of uh, the one coin. I wrote, wrote back said, thank you, you rock. Uh, looks like there's something wrong with her neck on the one picture. Uh, is that a reflection or in the coin or something else? And uh, they wrote back, you know, yeah, I think the area on her neck is in relation to the artwork and not in the or not the condition of the piece itself. I'm including a few more images below as I think they show the image in details a bit better. 
And in fact, they do. And I'll also include those two pictures here. And you can see that these coins are substantially different in uh, uh, quality of, of, of uh, both the, the first Maple Leaf I got from SD Bullion as well as the second one. Well, like I said, they weren't the only ones are, I contacted. I also contacted uh, a number of others. I heard from J.M. Bullion. Try and get ex exactly to that email. I'm reading it to you live. Uh, and they come back pretty quick. And they said, hello, Johnny. Thank you for reaching out to us. We understand your concern about the condition of the 2023 gold maple leaf coins. We strive to provide our customers with coins in the best possible condition. However... Please note that gold coins can sometimes have minor imperfections due to minting the minting process. To ensure the highest quality, we source our coins directly from reputable mints and distributors, blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of a boilerplate answer. And I kind of reshot them back another email and say, you know, would, basically, would you characterize the pictures that I've showed you before uh, as normal for the mint? Thank you once again. And they reached back and said, yes, indeed, that that is... Uh, they can confirm that it is normal for a minted piece. It is common for coins to have slight variations in their appearance due to the minting process. So, you know, I hey, I appreciate that. that you know, it's a very, very honest answer for them. I also got an email back from muddymetals.com. It said, hi, Johnny. Thank you for your email. Uh, the gold maples are in BU condition. Some may have very minor scratching, but our quality control does their best to identify these coins as to not send them to customers. So I'm like, okay, well, I'd like a little bit more information. I said, well, excellent. Thank you for your response. Would a coin like I've pictured be set aside and a different one sent instead? Because that's really what I want to know. And they write back, hi, Johnny, generally, yes. I'm like, wow. All right, so they might even sell it like as some kind of scruffy thing or something like that. So let's see, yeah. There was only, I think, like two or three that didn't get back to me, uh, which, like I said, I don't think is necessarily a big deal because they might have a specific email to send pictures to that you wouldn't, or you and I wouldn't necessarily know or be able to glean from the website, and they just kick the trash out so they don't get any kind of weird infections. Uh, at least give them the... Uh, I'll give them the credit for that, right? That's that's the best I can do. So let's uh, let me tell you something. I, I had one of the reasons, one of the things that makes me disappointed about uh, this particular thing with SD Bullion is that I know, and I can show you here. Uh, you see this box? This is their return mail address. They have sent packages to me in before in nice brown boxes. And this was a uh, an inner box, obviously. They're just not, it's not a mailer box. So you thank you for your support, SD Bullion. And then, you know, a little bit of uh, pandering to the Christians, I guess. Which, I don't get me wrong, I, I don't deny Christ. Christ is my Savior and my King. But uh, the panhandling businesses do is a bit much. All right, well, here's that... Uh, second gold coin anyways we'll take a look at her on video and see how it is you know at first glance it doesn't look too bad but you know you take a look at uh, up around her uh, up around the letters the numbers I mean it is just really a sh bad bad stamp or minted or what however they do it uh, yet amazingly enough, despite that, this coin looks better in the hand than the other one did. And not by a little, but by a lot. But I'm still not happy with this coin at all. I'm just not going to pay out another $50 to uh, uh, the post office to send this back to SD Bullion to have it addressed or taken care of. Because uh, clearly SD Bullion doesn't care. If they did, uh, I don't think the first one would have came that way. Or they certainly wouldn't have given me such trouble uh, over it like they did. I found them to be relatively rude in the email. Um, and despite the fact that they admitted that, uh, well, they didn't admit this, we're sorry that my package was packaged poorly. But that still cost me uh, $50. The only positive side with them was they refunded the money for the FedEx uh, payment that I had made 
to get it here a little bit faster. I was excited to get the coin at the time. Uh, and they didn't deliver in time. It cost me two days of pay, by the way, waiting on this coin. And, uh, yeah. They, th they just threw a whole ton of attitude. I think as far as uh, Doc's promise goes, it's, uh, um, since they sell that cowboy round uh, by Scottsdale Mint, it's uh, all hat, not much cowboy. So this is that one tenth or uh, up close. You can see uh, a little bit of weird stuff around her face, but I'm almost certain that's the plastic uh, over the coin at the moment. We'll have to zoom in more maybe to find out, which we'll be doing here pretty soon. I do like this packaging around it. It makes me wonder if maybe something a little bit similar would happen here that you wouldn't have the same thing, but I wouldn't necessarily expect them to do that either. I would expect the original package to come properly guarded. That way when I take it out, I'll like, wow, this is a pretty messed up coin. And I can go and look and say, oh, this is the way they're supposed to be. That's great. So, because I'm not thinking about shipping damage at all. I think that this thing got beat the hell out of still. Uh, and that's just how it is. So, well, we'll get on here to uh, a little bit further down and see what we can see. As we get closer, the condition of the coin is going to start to look worse. Um, and you, there, we get to a certain point where you really can't hold it against it because we're looking far beyond what your eye can see easily, unless you're really in. All right, well, here we are anyway. I'm going to zoom in. You can see it really doesn't look that bad. The lighting's a little off, but you take a look at the damage above her hair and uh, next to the uh, numbers. It just it depends on how you look at it. Maybe it wasn't a great planchette to begin with. Um, I don't know. Almost looks like there could have been dirt on top of it and they just stamped it right in or something. You get a little bit better look there at that uh, smaller leaf that they put down at the bottom. It's not a terribly great view, but... You can see there's some really beautiful aspects about this coin. I mean, I still love the gold maple leaf. I love the silver maple leaf. I think they're a great coin. Um, but I'd like to have it in better condition, and frankly, I find this to be pretty crappy. Um, but it's a bullion piece, so there's that side of it, too. But, you know, I was hoping that to have that nice piece to show in the hand at uh, on video. Because of part of the stacking for me, anyways, uh, with this kind of thing, I've got to have stuff that looks good on video. Um, and it's, you know, that's me, you know. <laughs> so that's the back side of it here. You really can't see too much going on. It's a weird, uh, it's not too bad of a zoom level here. So I think what we'll do is we'll get on to uh, the next. Uh, one. Oh wait, I, you know what, I got to do, um, I got to do that one tenther now. You got to see that one, we'll take a closer look at that, we'll get that here slid in. There we are, here we are on the one tenther now. See, uh, yeah, I, I think that is a lot of plastic, thing, but it looks like there's something on her chin. Maybe there's something underneath the plastic. Looks like anyway. I have to open it up to find out. I didn't really want to open this thing up, but probably will. So now we're zoomed in a bit more. Definitely looks like there's something in on her face here. I'll, uh, I'll have to get this cut out and then we'll take a better look at it when it's out of the package here. I don't really want to take this one out though. But that's okay. I do have a. a, a plastic uh, a capsule for it so I just put it in there shouldn't be too much of a problem I'm amazed that they can make these uh, really small coins look like the its larger counterpart the detail on these are pretty wild um, yeah You know, like I said, I, I've said it before, you know, and I, I, I hemmed and hawed on it. I, you know, I, I honestly, I, I kind of wish I'd bought a St. Gaudens now or the Mexican 50 pesos first because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just trying to do the, you know, the whole bullying thing. and I don't know. It is what it is. 
I'm still going to go after the St. Gaudens and the 50 paces, but piece anyway. And, you know, maybe one day I'll buy a nice version of this one. It just won't be from SD Bullion. And it, it bothers me. I like shopping there a little bit, you know. Well, more than a little bit, but I don't know. You know, at least they refunded the shipping, but I can't, you know, at least to a state or credit, but I'm not going to be able to have that. You know, I've still got to get over the $48 it cost me to ship that other coin in to get this thing, which is arguably worse, back. And uh, especially when I still believe that the first coin was pretty much done on shipping damage. So that's as far as we're going to go. In the end, I guess uh, my thoughts are I'm terribly disappointed with SD Bullion. Uh, I believe it's shipping damage all day long. Well, we'll try to uh, zoom in here a bit more, see how much more damage we can find on the coin. See how bad it really is. So just take a minute here. Get up there. All right, here we are. We're zoomed in a bit more. This... Uh, at this angle, uh, the defects are going to be wildly more pronounced um, and largely more irrelevant. Uh, at this scale, you're going to find damage no matter what, I think. Uh, but where you, the the real thing to look at here is the damage that you can see from you know hands length uh, and how bad that is. Because the other stuff is so minor, you, your eye won't see it. But the stuff like around the lettering here, you can absolutely see... Uh, in hand. And in fact, the appearance in hand makes it look like there's some kind of wax or something down in there. But you can see here on video, it's not like a wax. It's just the flakes of metal are off or poorly stamped. Who knows? I almost think maybe it's just a screwed up planchette that they used for the, uh, the coin, and this is what it looks like. So... But at this level, like I said, it, it's it's hard to even... I mean, you can see like there's some kind of uh, red thread there. and You never see that at, at hand length, that lint. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm, um, I'm disappointed. I don't think I'll shop with SD Bullion again. Um... Yeah, I mean, they, they refunded the FedEx uh, thing as a statement credit, but or an account credit anyway. And you have to uh, you have to shop there to be able to use it. And, you know, after they've done this to me twice and I spent $48 uh, to, to send the original coin back, I just can't see going back to them. And it, I find it to be disappointing. But it is what it is. You know, instead I'll look to Monument Metals and... Uh, money metals exchange uh, because uh, both of those companies uh, say that their coins would ship better uh, and they likely in my view probably go through them and weed out the really ugly ones uh, so that you get a decent coin and that's just where we'll have to be at with that um, I'm disappointed you know I, I missed out on the cowboy rounds at spot that they did or real close to it I think and then the Excalibur rounds that they did, or the sword round anyways in the Truth series. I was going to get into that. Nope. So we'll have to get this out of the package to take a good look at it for sure. And that'll give us a good idea what that face looks like as well. Let's see. We'll try and maybe move it ahead here. I think that's what we'll do. Here we are from after I've taken uh, the plastic piece off trying to get the lighting just right so you can see it a little bit but I actually wish I'd kind of left it at this end because uh, it's not bad and this light kind of washes it out I think but I'm working on this you know I'm, I'm new to this kind of thing the lighting is really what helps the most and uh, yeah it's a beautiful piece I, the, I arguably the one tenth uh, gold ounce is the best of the three that I've seen so far, um, because both of those one ounce pieces uh, aren't very nice. But they don't necessarily have to be. It's a bullion piece, but 
like I said, for the way that um, SD Bullion uh, ships their product now and uh, reships their product and then treats their customer, I just uh, I have to say no to them. And uh, yeah, there's that. But I do like these one tenth uh, gold maple leaves quite a bit. Uh, certainly, one of my goals is to uh, get an ounce in tenth ounces in the silver eagle and the maple leaf, and then an ounce in quarters for both, an ounce and halves in both, and obviously an ounce of both. Solid. I don't know why. It just seems like the thing to do. And probably stretch that out through, um, like the Britannias. But I gotta look into. Uh, I guess the tax side of it, I don't know. I don't know how that goes, but there's something with it. Well, anyways, this video has been way long enough. So, if you would be so kind as to comment, rate, and subscribe, share this video on the different social media platforms, tag SD Bullion and all that good stuff, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thankfully, this video is over, and thankfully, this experience is over, relatively speaking. I don't anticipate doing any more videos on this particular topic. And I greatly look forward to uh, coin reviews coming out. I have a lot of Intaglio Mint that I just can't wait to do and effects to do with them and put this well behind me and do just regular unboxings. Um, yeah, disappointed, no doubt about it. Uh, not much you can do about it except for keep on keeping on, and that's what I'm going to do. So I will see each and every one of you on the next video. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.